long time no see. Today is Thursday, December 29th. Far away from the march that I was telling you I was going to give you the tour. But things have been hectic. Yeah. So not everything is done in the house that I wanted. I mean, we're done. We're living in it. It's just... Sorry about the wind, by the way, if it's I'm trying to stay out of it. It's just small things that I wanted to get done, like wainscoting in the hallway, finish the closet, you know, just minor details, but we're still living in the house. So now I can finally give a tour, except for three rooms. The upstairs, because Jamie works midnights and she's sleeping right now. Chessie's room, because she's been sick and her room is destroyed. And the basement, because <laughs> I don't even want to go in the basement. <laughs> I don't have all the shelves built yet. There's everything for mobs is down there. <laughs> so let's begin the tour. This is the outside. Believe it or not, there is grass under that snow. Not a lot, but a little. It started, and then of course it got cold. The driveway. the front entry as you walk up. I'll take you for a tour around the house and you can see. They finished grading in the back and of course right after they finished grading in the back like building the house it continued to rain and I couldn't grade this yet and then it snowed so I couldn't grade this yet. So we're supposed to have a warm up to where it's just cold enough to where I might be able to grade and put some grass seed down and then I don't have to work in the spring. Garage door, finally. And then eventually there'll be a walkway going around back here. This is the uh, gutter that I started right before it started pouring rain and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> because my happiest thing back here oh, let me show you the back. Now mind you, everything out here is just I haven't found a place yet, so just trying to look presentable for the neighbors so everything's buried in the back. I was able to give Samantha her pond. So here is the pond. I'll get a view when I get back a little further. We're an eighth of the way filled. <laughs> we will be sledding down this though. We just haven't figured out a way to get back up. That's the problem. Uh, view from the back of the house and eventually where I'm standing I'll show you when I get further out I'm gonna build a gazebo facing the pond but that's way future me this is I'm pretty much walking the line that I'll have grass seed down from here to that I don't know if you can see it that yellow gas line all of this, I'm just going to let grow back up. And all of the gutters around the entire house, except for by the garage, me, David, and Samantha's dad trenched. Let me show you where this started. The trench starts at that gutter, underground to that gutter, and then all the way to the pond. So anything that drains off the house fills the pond and the overflows in the back of the pond so it doesn't overfill. Walking on my grass. And front porch. 
in the front door. Now, I gotta take a minute because first time I've had them puppies on since I built the house. <laughs> and I'm taking them off for good, man. <laughs> and we're back. So, we walk up, front porch, got all our Christmas stuff that we're, you know, in the process of taking down, so. Front door. All right, so we're gonna start in, hold on a minute, the dogs think somebody's here, and there's really not. <laughs> We have Samantha's office. And then the view from her office is our front closet. Then come into the living room. So before I swing the camera, this is my probably the best thing I've built to date besides the house finish wise. Super proud of this one. Check that out. Nice mantle with shelves. Power on the top for anything you need. Fireplace. Christmas tree. The view out the front door. The view out the back. I have to get a little closer. I don't know if the camera will pick it up with all the glare. Once the pond's filled, you'll be able to see the pond. And you come back here. That is Jesse's room. Bathroom completely finished. And we swing around and go into Alyssa's room. Look at that handsome guy. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> and that beautiful woman. <laughs> and then, oh, I almost forgot. Here is Mom's Christmas gift that one of them we forgot to give her. <laughs> so then we leave here. And come into the kitchen. Here's the dining room area with Samantha's chandelier. Let's turn the chandelier on. This is like the cat's meow. Maybe. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there it is. Look at that fancy light. Mom's clock she gave us. Kitchen Island. Cabinets turned out beautiful along with the backsplash. I showed you that awesome fireplace yet. That's awesome. <laughs> Little coffee bar. And let's go into one of the areas that I haven't finished. No trim, <laughs> no base. <laughs> Cabinets are gonna start here, go to there, go to there, then come around to here, and that's gonna be our pantry. I'm actually starting that today. So when I get that done, I'll video. And we got the fridge and freezer. And then we walk back through. come to the laundry room. This is the special door she had to have. Laundry room, she's got her table there under here. I'm not going to lift it because she'll kill me. But there's a slide out 
drawers that mom got us, like mesh drawers that you put all the dirty clothes in. Just got all her little laundry stuff. Sink. And the closet, which I'm not going to open because that's not even organized yet. <laughs> the hall this is the hallway this is where I have to finish all the wainscoting going around going up the steps down the hall I have to finish the trim on the stairs that's the stairway going up This eventually I'll be building a bench so you can sit down. I got the coat hooks up there and shoes down the hall. And now here we come to the area that scared the crap out of mom. <laughs> she didn't know when we first put the sheep in here that there was a sheep in here. <laughs> Half bath. Oops, sorry, that was too quick. So funny story about this sign we seen this sign at the store now this sign is mm, five feet I was like oh that'll be perfect it'll fit right over the pantry let me show you over the pantry Samantha's like no it ain't gonna fit I'm like it'll fit so we bought it anyway yeah that ain't fitting there <laughs> so then into the master bedroom We found this awesome four post bed on Facebook Marketplace that she's refinishing right now to match the dressers. All our Christmas stuff. And we come into Master Bath. Got my girlfriend next to the toilet. <laughs> and then this is as far as I'm showing you for the master closet because it's very messy because I'm taking measurements and everything's pulled down. So, but that's another thing I gotta do. So, that's the tour of the house minus the basement, Jesse's room, and upstairs. So, after I get the wainscoting, the pantry, the closet, I think that's it, and the basement, then I'll be done. Maybe March of 25. <laughs> I read a book a long, long time ago by Norm Abram called Measure Once. Cut, no, Measure Twice, Cut Once. <laughs> uh, we always mess around and be a carpenter. And in the book, it said, when you go into a carpenter's house, it is never complete. There is always things started. Oh, so, I got another idea. I'm going to start over here. That's this house. So hopefully, hopefully by the summer. Oh, I forgot to show you the garage. So I was supposed to get, and we were supposed to build another garage, which was going to be my shop and, you know, storage and all that. Yeah, running low. So, maybe the spring. But so right now, this is what I have to work with. Boxes from Christmas, so. So this is where all my woodworking stuff is crammed. From there. All the way to here. So, little organization in here for the winter with all the projects I have going. But that's the tour. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and has a Happy New Year. Bye.